Hello guys, welcome to another video, and this is a really scuffed setup, but um, I just wanted to make a video right now because we've just had a teaser that's come out and I really wanted to make a video about this exact thing right here. It is sitting right above me, the Night We Robe. This teaser was about some quality changes which look decent, but the real tidbit is that thing right above me there. So this is a brand new energy shield base type for body armor which appears to be coming in the next league. And if we just take a look at the comparison here, the Val Regalia right here is the current highest energy shield body armor base in the game right now. It rolls between 171 and 197 energy shield and it has an item level of 68 and an intelligence requirement of 194. Now the thing that's above me right there is an absolute monster. It rolls between 227 and 260 energy shield it's got an item level 10 levels higher at 78, and it requires 250 for intelligence to equip. That is just an absurd amount of energy shield on that body armor base type. The 260 max roll on the energy shield is 32% more energy shield compared to the highest roll on the Val Regalia at 197, which is absolutely crazy. We know that this thing is going to be coming in the game in 3.25. They've teased it for a reason. Uh, what we don't know is whether it's going to be a base type in the game, whether it's going to be something to do with the lead mechanic, either are possible. I think it's more likely to be just a normal base type though in the game. It doesn't look like anything particularly special. It just looks like, you know, a new base. So, uh, that's really interesting in and of itself, but I think what we can do is kind of make a few assumptions. So, let's take a look at this and say, what if we get new base types for the other defense types as well? So, you know, energy shield is one. What about if we get a new evasion body armor with a similar amount of increased evasion compared to what's on this Nightweave robe. So right now the highest evasion base is the Zodiac Leather. It rolls between 854 and 982 evasion rating. And if we were to apply that 32% more evasion to that armor right there, we would have 1,296 base evasion. That is absolutely crazy. And then if we were to do the same thing for armor, so let's scroll down here to the strength base types and sort by armor. We have the glorious plate right there, and that one rolls up to 892 armor. And if we were to apply the 32% more armor increase onto that for a potential new base type, that would come out at 1177 base armor. That is absolutely that's base armor as well before any quality before any increases or anything like that and one thing that i think we might be seeing here which is from another teaser a few days back some of you may have remembered the determination change which was very obviously positioned so that people would see it there's a determination change which looks like a very big nerf and it is absolutely a very big nerf the nerf looks like they are exactly halving the base armor that's gained from determination and my guess would be that we're going to see the same thing on Grace, and possibly a change to Discipline as well. However, I think what we may be seeing here is GGG's idea of buffing base defences by making it more important to have defences on your gear, and then therefore when you actually run the aura for that particular defence type, you gain more out of that more multiplier. So for example, if you had, you know, an extra... 1500 or 2000 base defense on your gear then you're going to get more out of that 50% more multiplier when you actually equip the aura and I think the idea there is that rather than having people just you know throw on an aura and gain a bunch of armor just from that aura alone you're more incentivized to actually equip armor gear and then build into armor using determination aura and I think with the Nightweave robe idea there, we could kind of go back to the idea that maybe we aren't going to be getting, you know, new base types for armor for every different defense type. It could be the case that they are only going with energy shield because right now in the game, even characters that are heavily invested into energy shield rarely ever really use full energy shield gear. It's very often they use hybrid gear because hybrid gear is really powerful, especially evasion energy shield gear you know, body armors because of spell suppression, those are really, really powerful at the moment. So this could be just energy shield gear. It could be an incentive to, you know, build into energy shield gear rather than going for that hybrid gear. 
but I'm not convinced. I think that this makes so much sense that if they're doing that aura change where they're removing the flat off of the auras, then it makes way, way more sense for them to actually buff the base defenses on gear to actually incentivize you to build into that stuff. So this is a super interesting change. That's about all I've got for this video. I just wanted to make a quick one. Super scuffed setup, no script or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is a really exciting change for me. Can't wait to see if they've got more base types. And, uh, you know, the other thing that they could be doing with this as well, just quickly, I just thought about this. They've done this in the past, actually. They could move pre-existing unique items onto the new base types to buff those items by giving them more base defenses. So that's one thing that they could do. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.